Yeah, let's go. And uh, so that's why I married her sheep. Oh, hello. Uh, welcome to Blackout Gaming. Uh, tonight we're going to be casting a UGC game. And we are casting a Euro Platinum Playoffs upper bracket match between Fair Enough against Party Van. And joining me tonight, I'm Russian Gaivich. Joining me tonight is Slayo. Hello. As my co casting extraordinaire. And John's on the stream. Busy, busy, busy lads. So, tonight's match is going to be on Payload Upward, so Tash, do we want to do a quick uh, run through the map? Yeah, it's a Payload map, pretty typical for Highlander. Um, be interesting to see where the NG builds on first point, cause quite a few places where he can go. But, yeah, it seems on the Reddit thread I was looking at earlier, it seems like Effie are the favourites to win this. They did win their last one anyway, so... Yeah, absolutely. Um, fair enough of uh, being a UGC Plat team for two seasons now. Uh, when they were back, this is season nine, but back in season eight, they actually um, they didn't have the best uh, record. They actually only won four games and won lost five. But what a complete turnaround they've had this season. They've had seven wins so far, and the only loss they've had is to Spirits in a Shell, which I believe are the first seed going into this playoffs. Uh, they're actually still, they're actually Div 2 in ETF 2L now as well. Um, I actually know quite a few of these guys. I know Flood. Um, I know. Gran I think I've seen Granger Bob play as well. He's quite a good spy. Um, also, I also know Clark, who's a Div Three scout. Uh, he played in our newbie cup um, a couple months ago. And actually, I also know Hank um, or Strombo, who is apparently subbing for them. But I don't think he's on the UGC roster. He is on the ETF Two L one. Uh, I used to play in a Highlander team of him a couple of years ago. Uh, he's um, quite a good guy. I think he's Div 2 now, so they do have quite a lot of good players on Fair Enough. Yeah, um, I recognise a lot of them, yeah. They've actually won their past the past three games uh, in UGC they've won, and I think they lost to Osmos in ETF 2L Week 1, but um, they ended up getting a default win because Bode, um, won, I think he's a Belgian player, he got banned from ETF 2L, so they actually got the uh, the default win from that. So, um, it looks like we're just uh, waiting for the broadcast to start. I think there's a problem with the Source TV uh, at the moment, so I need to go and sort that out. So, so Tash, um, you've played uh, Upward before, so what's uh, the common strats in terms of defense? Yeah, usually their combo will hold um, just up the stairs on the right and uh, hold the Uber there, and the engineer will typically build on the ledge just near where the house is, but there's quite a few places they can build. If he's good with the Wrangler, then he can also build on the cliff and get a really long range right down where the cart goes there. Um, yeah, but the snipers uh, are also really ones to watch for. Defending sniper will typically be on top of the house on the second floor, and then the other one will be at the main gate. And if you so much as peek your head out of that house, you're very vulnerable to a headshot, though it's about popping at the right time with your Uber with Upward to start with on defence. Yeah, there's quite a few uh, common spots that um, engineers tend to set up their sentry, but I think um, my personal preference is that you would try and split your combo and your engineer uh, in separate uh, separate sides, so you know uh, the blue team who's attacking will have to make a decision about where they're going to try and uh, focus their fire on initially. But I mean, the thing with Highlander is it's so circumstantial. I mean, out of nowhere, someone important can go down due to a spy pick, sniper pick, or anything like that, and it can really turn things on its head very quickly. Yeah, it's also about where the pyro can get to, because if you're in two separate spaces and the engineer is very vulnerable to a spy, especially if he's building on the cliff, he'll be quite isolated from the rest of the team, so. Yes, yeah, so usually the pirate has to make a decision about whether he's going to stick around the engineer. Um, but obviously, on that hill, defending the first point, you're quite exposed to uh, sniper play and things. So you really need yeah, someone definitely. to kind of focus the sniper if you're trying to get that sort of strategy to work. In terms of second point, um, if you don't, um, if you start losing a lot of players on on the first point, then you're going to have a difficult time actually getting a chance to set up a defense on second. 
Um, sometimes it's best just to fall back, even like you know, quit while you're ahead of sorts, and you know, just fall back onto second and just try and get a decent defense up at times. Even though it looks like you may have the upper hand, but you can start dropping players really quickly. If players have started to be very weak on red, so sometimes it's a good call to just fall back and hold on to seconds if you can. Yeah, Obviously second place for engineers pretty much always the same place, isn't it? It's right near spawn. In that little house there. But it can be quite hard to get it all set up if you've got completely rolled in terms of the sentry nest over at one. You can push that cart really quickly through that tunnel. Yeah, and that's the thing about payload maps in Highlander, it's all about momentum. Just you start getting the frags, just keep pushing your heavy classes up, keep going, always get someone on the cart as well, it's very crucial. Um, yeah. It's something that you definitely see, um, the more, say for example, a lot of a lot of 6v6 players who may not play a lot of Highlander, the scouts will be keening it up, trying to get frags and everything, which it is quite a quite an important uh, role that they need to fulfill, but they also need to remember to push the cart, and sometimes they just get really keen and it start going time. Rambo and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The win is based on the time and not the frags after all, so... Yeah, absolutely. Quite often I've seen matches where you've got people who are top fragging, but um, they'll still get a faster time than the other team, even if they're not getting as many kills, so... It's a lot about momentum, yeah. Um, apologies to Party Van. I I went through fair enough um, a bit. I didn't even speak about them at all. So they're pretty much the underdogs going into this um, match. They've been a platinum team for two seasons as well, but they've unfortunately only won two games so far in season nine, and that was against it's all about the Gibbous and After Dark, who I think are made up of uh, players from Clanda and a few other people I do recognise. So the, the uh, Party Van have actually lost five games this season. Um, so they're they're definitely going as the underdogs here. Um, but this is the first time they've played against fair enough, so it could be an interesting match. Um, Party Fan are actually Div 3 in etf 2 l Season 4 at the moment, but they've yet to play a game, so I think their first game is um, later on this week, perhaps Sunday. Um, but it also looks like they won their last game, so perhaps they're trying to make it a winning streak, so it'll be interesting to see how they can fare tonight. Um, I do recognise one or two of their players, I think... I think I've played with Crane before, and Mr. Epic is on um, in the roster. He's also a. Uh, I think he also used to snipe for Critzcast back in the day, but this was quite a long time ago. And I just got a notification from Clark that we've just gone live now, so we should just be waiting a minute and 30 seconds, and then we should get this game underway. So I think this is just the standard ABBA format. Um, it looks like... I'm not sure if they're going to be doing the old heavy fist fight. I think they might just be... If they're currently staying the way they are, then it seems that... Party van are going to be attacking first, and maybe fair enough will be defense. I wonder if that's just their preference, or I'm not entirely sure about the rules surrounding. Um, I know in uh, ETF2L Highlander that you sometimes have a heavy fist fight, and whoever wins basically gets the chance to attack or defend first. Their preference. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same thing for UGC personally, uh, but you know I always like seeing a good old heavy fist fight as long as there's no cheating involved. And it looks like we've started now. So I guess I was right. It looks like fair enough we're going to be on defense here. So let's see where they're going to set up. I just realized that the STV camera is going slower than a turtle. I'll get that sorted out as soon as possible. So they get five people to suicide for metal. Pretty keen. He's built his sentry somewhere quite different to usual. I'm just wondering yeah, if he'll have the, the range or if he's going to move it back. See, I, I, I would speculate that maybe it was to be closer to metal at the time, just to get like that stuff up to level 3 and then move it, because he kind of has to move... Uh, he's got shorter distance than metal where it spawns, I think that's exactly what he's doing. Yeah, In terms of so. range, it might be to maybe get a 
put it into an unexpected spot in case, you know, it's quite common you'll see the demo man on blue maybe jump out with sticky jumper and try and get uh, something done with the lock and loads or the uh, caber, but it looks like the gates are about to open now. Yeah, so we like pick off the rumors. Rui gets a pick straight on. The soldier there for party van, so that's one player down already. It looks like Spy tries to get a pick onto the worst who's heavying party van, and he goes down to a rocket. Rui's doing work here, he's just got another pick on the engineer. I think Maddox is staying in spawn here. He's probably just waiting to see if they can get anything done. Doesn't want to use that Uber until he absolutely has to, but it just looks like red team are holding standard point, standard place here. MS. Yeah, good idea as well. That MS just sticking really around spamming. the pyro. Yep, just spamming, just distracting a bit. Combat sentry is going up and that's it wrangled, so that's going to be a bit of a distraction here. Spies on the right know. side, takes down the Lander, that's good. You pick their combat sentries back up on the right, and red team have Ubered now, but there's only three players up for blue, so they're not going to get much done. Heavy's about to go down, surely, yeah. yeah. So, so far, so good for fair enough. It looks like they're doing work. They've definitely positioned themselves well. So I think blue need to rethink how they're going to uh, push out from here. Demo man getting some good damage onto uh, Deathlager there. He's playing heavy for fair enough at the moment. Ruby gets another pick on Dur, the engineer. MF just trying to reflect that stuff away. That's essentially wrangled up. Blue team of Uber is already. MF trying to blast him away. Sentry's gone Sentry down. down I think they yeah. have, oh, the medic gets picked. That was a good pick there from from Scully. He gets uh, he gets floods uh, right down there. So. Red team are, oh, they were only just spawned, but there were five players up here. Sniper gets a pick on NDMZ, he's down, we've got no demo, but they need to fall back here a little bit and just try and get a good defense set up. Yeah, he's already started building on the other points, so. Yeah, I see what you did there, the red medic, uh, the blue medic is at 70%, so there's about a 40% advantage at the moment. Shep needs to ask one Roaming of the soldiers. He's getting punished yeah. for that. Absolutely. Ruse just watching the tunnel, seeing if anyone's pushing the cart. There's a combat sentry down there as well. Engineer's on the cart at the moment. I think Ruse's going to try and get a pick here. Now he misses his shot. Demo just got snipes as well. Yeah. And the Vuba did. Ruse's do doing really well. He's got 22 points. He's got more than double the amount that the medic has. They've Ubered back, yeah. Yeah, I don't think they're oh, going to get much done here. Fast. Yeah. We need to get the jumpers in and maybe try and get that medic to go down. Although the Ubers are equal, so I think I, think I missed to see what it did there. Maybe got forced or something? No, or the red the red Ubered back after the blue. So the blue would have a Uber advantage right now. The spy's Shep's just gone down. down again to Scully. He's doing work. Uh, I think MF's maybe roaming a little too much here. I think he needs to just fall back a little. Oh, he's trying to get the ambush. Combat sentry is up again. Ruby's just doing. Uh, he's just absolutely devastating uh, party van at the moment. Really got is. Got 23 yeah. points already. <laughs> and he's got another pick on Silver the Scout. Yeah, I'm sure I've lobbied with him before. He is sick. Sorry, that's Sliver. My apologies. Eyes L's are the same thing, really. Looks like Raven. He's getting some sticky damage on. He's trying to call out the the Uber didn't. Uber onto this sentry. Oh, MF did good work. Mass. That's Raven gone Failed down. Uber. But the heavy just but snuck in there and took out the sentry <laughs> and the heavy without an Uber. Yeah, that was oh, really well done actually. Theirs. That was that was really well played by the worst. I think he caught. He he timed that perfectly. He he knew that they were distracted. Yeah, because the MF is completely the other way. Yeah, MF was too busy trying to deal with uh, the demo man, uh, Raven. 
and heavy just thought, fine, I'm just going to jump down behind you and just uh, minigun your face in. And it seemed to play it, uh, pay off pretty well. I see what you did there, and Strap pretty much have equal levers at the moment. I'm just wondering where they're going to be pushing from. They're probably going to come to the right, and they've ubered quite early on here. I think MF's just going to basically deny them here. Oh, Shep's not had the best at Ubers. Ubered back, yeah. Hasn't gotten anyone. It's unfortunate that uh, he didn't manage to just get MF there. He could maybe have blasted one or two players off the side of the map. <laughs> and Ruby gets another pick onto Sliver. He was on the cart just trying to get that up that slope. That bit can be quite frustrate frustrating at times because uh, you've got, you're so exposed when you're trying to push it up there. And a sniper who can aim is just going to make melee pudding out your heads. Not just by snipers, that is such a vulnerable place for a pyro to just air blast you right off. Pyros love this map. They do, It's just yeah. the bane of my existence, especially when you try to play soldier and you're up against good pyro. Yeah. So much you can do. Blue team have just ubered in here. But Shep doesn't have an uber yet. He's falling straight back. I don't think they're going to get him though. You just need to get some time on the point here, and I think, I think the worst is gonna get picked. Uh, he does by Ruby once again. Ruby doing absolute work. And it seems that Shep's got his 100% Uber up, so MF needs to be cautious and just keep spy checking around him. Party Van must know they're at a big Uber disadvantage at the moment. They really need to get an Uber to try and push into here or try and get something else done. Granger Bob just goes down by Yukari. Nice flare by him. And NG just snuck point. on and capped it though. Spies on the NG nest. And that's essentially wrangled. And they've Uber. They can't Uber. Yep. I see what you did there is 90%, so you'll have it in 5 or so seconds. I think they're just going to push right on in here. They need to be pretty aggressive now. They have to go. I think they're going up top. Yeah, they are. They're going to try for the flank, I think. I think we have a pause at the moment. Gotta love the heavy riding the invisible air bicycle. So yeah, pretty dominant force so far by, uh, by fair enough, they are defending this pretty well. I mean, it's taking them 6 minutes and 54 seconds for Party Van to cap here, up to the third point, so they have their work out of them, but fair enough, they've only got 5 players up at the moment, and Party Van have 100% Uber, it looks like they're going to see if they can get a flank, but I'm just wondering if anyone's actually looking out for them. It looks like the engineer on fair enough, I can't pronounce, that's Galavine, I think. He's uh, a way to try and set up a sentry, probably in the top right, that usual spot. But I think... I'm not sure, I think maybe fair enough need to fall back a little bit here, because if they haven't seen the combo, then they must be expecting them to try a flank. And yeah, Clark said that there's a pause. Um, just find out which players drop. It looks like Scully has dropped, uh, so it's the spy from Party Van. Just waiting for him to rejoin. He says he's just rejoining just now, so we should get this game back in action. So in the meantime, I guess we can plug uh, Blackout Gaming. We're still looking for streamers and casters to cover both UGC and uh, ETF2L. There's no preference for division, so. If you feel you could do a better job than us, then feel free to put your name down at forums.blackoutgaming.org. Make sure to follow us on Twitch, uh, Blackout Gaming TV, and or just get in contact with myself if you're interested. It looks like Blue Team have just Ubered in the back. Yep, they've been completely off guard here. Shep's gone down. He didn't have Uber anyway, but this could be disastrous for fair enough. If they manage to get enough picks, Clark goes in and trying to get a pick on the medic. That's a good play from him. Yukari goes down. Clark's on fire, he's trying to get the spy down up, he's just trying to get out now. 
but only still four players up for fair enough. It looks like Deathlager's is stay, staying up top, waiting for the level one sentry to be up, but I think that's getting it's getting spammed down by the rocket launcher of the soldier. It looks like Shep's back, but I see what you numbers, did there. It's got no one on the cart at the moment. Absolutely, I think they just need to push in here. They've got an out. They've got an Uber. They just need to come in. But fair enough for playing very defensively. They're right up against that sentry, but it's not quite at level. It's not level three yet, but it's been wrangled. So I just realised that uh, my spec card's broken yeah. because of the uh, <laughs> source TV. Jumped up onto the sentry oh, nest. Oh, that's Raven. all of them down. They've got this now. They it's need just to get people on the them off. They need to get people on the point, though. Yeah, but it looks like this is it being capped out unless MF could do the anything. The Pyro's got it. Oh, that's unlucky. Maybe should have blasted him to the left side where the pit is, is so... The combo and Solly is still up. Yeah, and it looks like Galavine's nah, got level got the one now. Yeah, this looks like it. it's capped, so that's all four points capped. So that was nine minutes and ten seconds that fair enough have to beat. So that's around about average. Um, I'd say it's slightly... A little bit above average, yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit above average, but... I think fair enough did quite a good um, they did quite a good job overall. Um, I think they just uh, needed to fall back a little bit from that third point when uh, they only had like five or so players and they were still holding at the edge. And then Shep and the combo just basically went in and just Ubered right behind them. And ever since then they just failed to get a, a proper defense set up on last. Um, you really need to know when when the best time to fall back is on payload because. If you start losing players, they're just going to roll on home and take all four points, and that's what we saw. But, you know, 9 minutes and 10 seconds isn't too bad, so let's see if fair enough can do the business. Mission begins in 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It looks like the gates are just opening. I'm going to try to jump. I think they're just checking that. Usual spy spot behind the rock on the left side of the cart. And Max N7 goes down straight away by a body shot, I think. Combo's it looks like. Really passively. Yeah, they're splitting up their defense here as well. Combo's on the right, but I don't see. I think the heavy's just there on his own. I'm not sure where the pyro is at the moment, but fair enough for just getting free reign to push this cart. They're not even. They're not even trying to contest uh, at all. It looks like the uh, demo man for red is moving up a little bit, trying to get a bit of spam, but... Looks like a spy taking down the heavy. Good pay by Ganja Bob there. Medic's After still the medic got Uber, though. Yeah, I think he's just going to fall back and maybe rethink his strat. I think he might try to get around the flank and see. Yeah, here he goes. He takes On the down spy. Max again. Sniper. Good play. Ganja Bob's quite a good spy. I think he's aware that the uh, that Yukari's not really paying much attention to doing spy checking. He's just kind of doing try to do reflecting, but you know, ra the Wrangler shields up. But he should just like focus on spy checking around the medic at the moment. Unless the uh, unless the sentry's going down, then need to watch out. I think Granja Bob will probably see this as an opportunity though. If he just comes around the back and goes to the right, he can easily get a pick on that medic. He gets taken down by Raymond, I believe. The worst is uh, overextending quite a lot here. He'd be lucky to get out. He just barely manages barely to get just, out. Yeah. MDN Zab gets taken down there. That was worth a try though. Because obviously he knew the heavy was weak. So you may as well get a few stickies on and see what you can do. And that's the first point capped already. 
And I see what you did there. Just gets picked by Granger Bob once again, yeah. So, Shap's at 100% advantage. Need to come in here just over the hills, probably the best place to push Emmett. Yukari's trying to. He's trying to distract him a bit. He gets taken down because he's got no heals on him. Level 3, Rankle Sentry is up on second. So, fair enough, we're just trying to get their defense. Uh, sorry, not fair enough. Um, Ubered quite early there, yeah. Party van. Doesn't matter yeah, though, taking down in. the nest. Yeah, way too late. It's because they just don't have. They didn't have the players. Um, it was a bit silly by Yukari to kind of be on the hill just trying to reflect stuff. He should have just fallen back. So they had player numbers around that point, but to be honest, I don't think they would have held it anyway with such a huge uber disadvantage. The snipers like just chilling there in the middle with them all though. Haven't even noticed him yet. Ah, oh, there we go. Scully taking down MTNZ as well, but he just got two picks before that. Party van are in big trouble here. They've only four players up. Another one just spawned, that was Yukari. Shep's 70%. It's a quite equal Ubers at the moment. But there's no level f no level three sentry, just up just level one Wrangler. I think Granger Bob's going in to see if he can do some work, but I think he's been spotted. Yep, he gets taken down. And they've Uber Another quite Uber early here. right against each other, yeah. Yep, Demo Shep takes down the medic down. though. Yeah, that was a good play by him. I see what you did there, Silip, as well, so that's ever so crucial. That's by Ah, oh. was... oh, that was unlucky by Ingrid to Bob there. Rui takes down Yukari once again. So Rui's on 50 points at the moment. Shep Medic's 37. <laughs> so he's is a ridiculous. He's absolutely being awesome, yeah. I'd be interested to know what Div um, 6v6 he is on ETF as well, but... Granger Bob going in, he's looking to maybe get the pick on the Heavy. Heavy's not paying attention at all. Ah, uh, he gets taken down easily. The worst... I don't know if that was miscommunication there by Party Fan, but it looks like they've Ubered into them trying to do something, but they're not getting anything done. MF just going to block that demo man straight down, take him out of the extinguisher. Nope, not quite. Deathlager just finishes him off with the minigun. Party Fan are only five players up now. Oh. Red Spy's just taking down the combo though. Yeah, Scully, good play by him, yeah. So I guess that didn't work in their favour after all. That was. Uh, Counter, counter spying at its finest. I think we just saw there. It's easy to, uh, it's easy to pick a medic and you know fill yourself with uh, confidence, but then it also might make you distracted, and then you end up losing your own medic because you're not paying attention. And it looks like that's what's happened here. Five players are down for party van, and it looks like they've capped the third point. The spy behind once again. Deathlager gets taken down. I'm not sure where the pyro is. Where is uh, MF? Oh, he's down. That, that would explain it. Shep's on 50% Uber. U Uber? <laughs> Uber. <laughs> so he's going Uber. on to 60. Uber. Let's get some Uvas on the go. I'm not sure where uh, the red combo apart for party fun. They're, I think they're trying to get upstairs, but they're just getting that uh, Spammed out by the demo man here. The it's worst very tricky is quite place for the medic. Yeah, absolutely. He's in a he's in a bad spot right at the oh, moment. He's alone I think he's now. Get taken down. Clark get, Clark takes him down. Good play by him. That was that was pretty good comms. He must have been called to go that way. Yeah, I think fair enough might have this. They're just gonna storm on in. They have the Uber, they've popped. Level three level two sentry is up now, so they just need to take it down. Oh, but Scully takes down Dev Luger. I think there's a bit of a confusion about which side they were pushing from there. And Scully tried to get a pick on the medic. I think he just uh, unluckily missed the uh, stab. I think he strafed out the way just at the last minute. And the worst goes down again. But Shep's still got an uber advantage here. It's just that it's barely, it's like 5%, but he just needs to build up a bit and just push on in because. Red seem to be a bit jumbled at the moment. I see what you did is kind of sticking 
sticking around on the left side with Granger Bobs there as well. Oh, he tries to take him out, he gets spotted. Gets the heavy though. That's Yukari down as well. And now they've got that, so first round goes to fair enough. That was a pretty impressive display. Uh, I can see why they're probably the favourites coming into this game. So Tash, if, if you were, if you'd lost um, the first round and perhaps you were defending in the second round, um, would you maybe try and do something a little bit different, or would you try and go with the same strats? I probably, I think they generally often counter Ubered the blue uh, fair enough after they Ubered in. Um, I think to hold the Uber back might be better because often when they counter Ubered against them, they didn't really get any kills and didn't get any advantage over them. And then red would carry it on having the uber advantage. Fair enough, would sorry. So just to hold back instead of using an uber straight after they've used it. Wait for a better time where they can get some kills. Because often it was too late and they were all retreating, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm trying to knock my uber as much as possible, but easy to uh, not to miss out the calls for where a sniper is on Highlander, or maybe it's just because I'm going deaf in my old age, but. Sometimes, uh, <laughs> sometimes uh, I'm trying to milk it too hard, and then at the last minute I see the sniper, and then I get I get headshotted, and then drop, and everyone hates me. So oh, yeah. uh, it's always a risk you're going to take when you're trying to uh, you're trying to milk your Uber and uh, not pop it until the very last minute, especially when you're defending. You really don't want to Uber early on, but at the same time, if people start getting lit and taking a lot of damage, you just have to use it and distribute, uh, start flashing people. Against their sniper, Ruki, however you pronounce that, I can understand why he popped quite early as well, in a lot of cases. Yeah, I think there's a problem with the server. Um, I believe it's gone down, I'm not sure what's happened there, uh, whether it's a problem with the configuration. Um, if, bear with me, and I'll find out from one of the players. Yep, it was indeed it was indeed a server crash, so um it's just getting started up back now, so we should be ready to go in a couple minutes time. I'll be honest, I'm quite uh quite relieved that we're casting a different um map to Gravel Pit. I think we've done about four casts this week on Gravel Pit alone. And uh, it just so happens that the playoffs for UGC are actually, the first map is upward, but then week 2 ETF2L, which is concurrently going on, is also upward. So there's going to be a lot of upward coming up this week. We're hoping to maybe try and get another cast on Thursday, uh, perhaps with a, a UGC steal um, lower bracket, perhaps. Um, we're trying to get... That's in the works at the moment, but we're trying to get casters and stuff for that. And also on Saturday, we may cast the original game we wanted to cast yesterday, but we went with 27 versus Paragapers, which was indeed a good game. But we were actually wanting to cast Unbelievably Brave Sweethearts versus Less Than Free, which is a Division 1 game. And I think it's scheduled for Saturday, so we maybe see if we can get people to cast. I'm sure Hildreth would love it if we... Uh, came on and criticised his team and we also know people who are on less than free as well as we've played with them for quite a few years so it looks like the STV's backups guys so we're just going to rejoin also if you have any suggestions uh, maybe you're a team leader and you'd like us to cast your game or you have a game that you would like to suggest us to cast, then feel free to uh, make the suggestion to ourselves on our forums, forums.blackoutgaming.org, or feel free to uh, add me on Steam if my friends list isn't full, and then make your suggestion. Um, we're always on the lookout for games to cast. We're trying to sort of fill a void that kind of exists in the not just uh, the Highlander European 
seen uh, at the moment, but also for lower division 6v6 games, it's good to have people who are casting and things. So. Okay, so John, are you back on the STV? Okay, I'll give him the go ahead. Uh, oh, it looks like I just got a suggestion coming from Twisted, who's uh, on the Blackout Highlander team. Uh, shameless plug. Um, he's saying, I have a suggestion. Naked Lady's giving away free stuff. So we maybe. We might consider that for for Saturday's cast, but I might just wear a dress and maybe hand out <laughs> keys or something. Always have an excuse for being in drag. That's my motto. So anyway, going away from that, let's uh, get back into the game. <laughs> I think I've completely uh, freaked out Slayer here. Um, that's all so right. Just... I bet you have a, a dress all ready for the occasion, don't you? Oh, I found a lovely polka dot number <laughs> in the charity shop. I might take it to I-49 if I come. We'll see how long, how many minutes it'll be before I get chucked out. Oh, in fact, I could just wear it to the fancy dress costume. Uh... You could always cosplay as somebody who wears a polka dot dress. That's what I usually tell my parents. But I'm the only person who enters them. <laughs> yeah, let's get away from uh, talking about dressing <laughs> and drag. I think I think Crazy Man will start appearing and asking things are going on. He'll want the pictures. Why, you want first dibs on them? <laughs> Okay, I'm just letting the guys know when the when it tells when we're going live. I'm I'm interested to see how Premier Division ETF twelve um plays out this season. Um after SNSD's lost to Ginyu Force, um I d I don't know if that's gonna be a motivation for them to, you know, PCW. I know the PCW against North American teams quite a bit and they're basically the only Prem team in the ETF2L who really put a lot of effort in uh, this season anyway. There's quite a few keen Div 1 teams like Max Play and Less Than Free have been PCW quite a lot as well. Unbelievably brave, brave sweethearts are quite keen. But it's, uh, the problem with Prem games is that they seem to get delayed for like three weeks before they actually begin. Like the Pirate Gapers versus 27 game was supposed to start uh, over a week ago, but it got rescheduled. But I think that was because people were I-48 or something, like gubbins. Okay, I've just been told by Clark that they're going live, so in 90 seconds we'll be starting the second round of this uh, UGC Upper Bracket EU Platinum mm, Playoff game against uh, Party Van and Fair Enough. So fair enough of taking the first round so far, if you're just joining in uh, to the cast. And so this time Party Van are going to be defending first and fair enough we're going to be attacking. So we're just waiting for game to go live. So fair enough win this, then they're proceeding throughout the upper bracket and that means that Party Van are going to get moved down to the lower bracket and they have to play a game on Thursday I believe. I'm just seeing that uh, Kaltu is also on Fair Enough. Uh, he's, I think he's an ETF2L admin or a trial admin. I don't know if it's Kaltu or Kikaltu. Perhaps somebody could clarify that for me. Kaltu. I'm just not going to pronounce the extra letters. No, no, no. 
He's got a nice unusual. I can't believe we're going to talk about hearts. This is what server crashes bring you to. Counting up the unusuals. Well, to be honest, this is the only reason why we're casting. We don't actually care about this game. We're just wanting to see what hearts people have. It's our whole plan, anyway. We're a lot an elaborate network of scammers. <laughs> Just eyeing out the candy. So it looks like Durr's building a sentry right at the back here. He's moving it a little bit closer to, to get a better, better visibility so he can wrangle it over to the first point where the uh, stairs are just coming down onto the first point there. Uh, it looks like the combo is holding quite far back at the moment as well. They tried this last round and it didn't really work out too well for them, so... Yeah, they got I don't straight know if, to one right away. Yeah, I don't know if fair enough or maybe... Expecting them to just go with the same strats or... Or expecting something different, but I guess we'll find out and see... If fair enough play this any differently. Looks like the dam was just maybe going out, he's just checking that spy spot as per usual, so... It's like a mirror of the last rounds. They're just pushing on in. I think Dnieper Ling Lang... Maybe looking for a flanking opportunity, but soldier gets spotted. Flounder gets taken down. Rui get Rui takes down the engineer max seven. So Yukari had the home record, but it didn't do any good. I don't think. So they're f they're six players up already, and they're trying to Uber into counter. Uber on the top. Yeah. They're easily back away. Yeah, fair enough, it's just falling straight back. And they still have Uber as well, so... You just push in, huge advantage. He's just coming. I think they might be waiting for the demo man. Yeah, MTNZ has just spawned up, so he's probably going to jump in. It's right on to first as well. It's a long way to push the cart without any sort of contesting. Oh, Raven tried to get a pick on the medic, but he did force him, so it wasn't... Yeah, the wasn't, on the card. Cart. It wasn't too, too bad, but still... Not worth a demo dropping because he can't get any sticky traps or anything set up. So, but he looks like he'll probably be spawning up pretty soon as well. In terms of the Ubers, I see what you did there is on a 30% advantage at the moment. Rui takes down Mac once again. That's the end. Counter sniping. It looks like Rui's definitely winning the fight. Sniper v sniper. Rui gets taken out by Scully, the ambassador. And Party Van are in trouble here, they're only four players up. Shep 67% at the moment. I see what you did there, he's got a Zuber, but I think they're falling right back and they're just trying to set up a defense on third. That's a good decision actually, they need to wait for people. But uh, the unfortunate reality is that by falling back you're not really going to make use of your Uber advantage, so it's going to end up being equal Ubers at the moment. Pretty much before Shep pushes in, now he's got it. So I, I don't know if they're just going to Uber in straight away. I mean, fair enough for being very aggressive, it looks like. It's really paying off yeah. for them, though. Absolutely, yeah. And they've Ubered in. The worst gets taken down by Cal2. Uh, I think it was a bit of an error on the Maddox part there. He should have popped a little bit earlier. For the worst had as much health as he did before he just got picked off uh, by the counter Uber. And it looks like Scar's, uh, Scart? Clark's the scout is on, uh, is on the, uh, cart at the moment. It's a bit of a rhyme from Twister. Granger Bob's trying to go behind to see if he can get done. I don't think he was spotted, actually, so we'll see where he is. Yep. Yep, he's waiting to go for the medic. Oh, he gets spotted, uh, medic strafes back. I think he's gonna get anything done. He gets taken down by Raven, he's covered in Gerati. Shep's at 75% as well. Clark gets taken down by Max. Yeah, Max takes down Ni Por Ling Lang. So the cart's not moving at all. I think they're just going to maybe push him with the Uber and see if they can get anything done, but... I see what he did there, counter Ubers, but they're, they're not going to have to done. They maybe need to get that heavy down, he's isolated, yeah, he gets taken down easily. But the sentry got taken down by Grantia Bob. Grant, nobody's paying attention to the spy, he gets, takes down the worst again. Granger Bob's really doing work at the moment. 
Rui's on the point as well with uh, Clark. Clark gets taken down. Eh? Max and seven. It looks like the the Dur is trying to take his sentry back, but MTNZ tried to do the flank, maybe take down the engineer, but he didn't get him unfortunately. So Dur's got a level one sentry. He's probably going to going to try and get that built up as soon as possible. Noticing that uh, Nipur Linglang is up at the top trying to spam it, um, but Dur's built his level one sentry right at the back. Don't know if that's uh, the best. Place to it's make very easy for a spy to get up there. Yeah, we might see that ground bomb that's taken down, so he's not going to have an opportunity to do that. They may just try and spam this from the window. I'm um, assuming Nipro Ling Lang might go into the into the window and just try and spam that engineer down, but they're not even paying attention to the car whatsoever, so that's not really worked out well for them so far. But I don't think they're going to get a chance to cap this. Oh, but Clark Combo's takes coming down out the now. worst. I think it's really, really. That's what Div3 Skype experience can do. He just destroyed the worst there, absolutely. And they're going to cap this in a pretty damn quick time. 4 minutes and 46 seconds. Really fast that is. I think... I don't think they should have done the same strat that they did um, in the first round. Because fair enough just read them like a book. They are like, well, you're going to hold that far back, then we're just going to play our cards right and come on down, so... Or was that strike it lucky? It was one of the two. Yeah, they had people anyone... on the car constantly, it was just... I don't think uh, anyone who isn't British will really get that reference, but never mind. <laughs> Which reference is that? Oh, I was talking about old school game shows. I'm trying to have the, the absolutely worst metaphors possible being said. <laughs> That's my aim tonight. See, I'm British, but I don't get that, I'm afraid. Mission begins in 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3. They are holding forward quite a bit more, though, this time. On yeah, it, this is. Yeah, yeah, this is fair enough. They're, they're doing the same thing, but it worked pretty well in their favour last time, I think. They did, did manage yeah. to hold the first point quite well. Um, it looks like the the, the engineers built his sentry there again on the left side. I think that might be to cover flanks, but... Oh, they got forced very early by Raven, so... I see what you did, still got his Uber. Cal2 gets taken down by Max again, so there's no heavy up. Clark's down as well at the moment. So they're at a disadvantage, I see what you did there, just basically need to make the most of this and come in straight away, just push in immediately. They don't have much time left, they've only got 4 minutes and 6 seconds to count 4 points, so they really need to get a move on. And that's it, they've Ubered in now, are they going to be able to get the sentry down, MF's trying to distract them, oh he gets taken down at the minute, but he did a good job there. They're underneath, they're in a bad position, MDNZ just need to spam them out. It's only the medic and the heavy, they need to... I need to deal with him, yeah. it's someone to go underneath. It's coming out the other side though, right onto the hill. There we go, that gets taken out easily. Shep's at 100% as well, I see what you did there, are they still underneath? Yeah they are, they're just... I don't know what they're waiting for, but... They need to use this uber, they need to go in and kill the combo... Before they get that uber, they're just going to come up right behind, that looks what is what they're doing now. But I think I see what you did there is going to actually get this because they haven't dealt with the, the medic and the heavy in time. And they uber in, but they uber in quite early. I think they might have been expecting a sticky trap or something there, maybe. Fair enough, we're getting pushed right back at the moment. Is Kalti going to get out here? No, he doesn't. He takes the last pipe by Raven. Max just picks off MTM's dead, so there's no heavy, there's no demo. They're in trouble here, fair enough. They have a slight advantage in Uber, but they need the, those heavy classes to be up to so basically stop uh, Party Van from coming over the hill. Looks like Granger Bob's going for the heavy, but he gets spotted by the soldier. <laughs> Brilliant he face takes down there. the worst. I don't know if that was good player luck, it's probably both. And Shep's going to have this Uber, and I just noticed that. Uh, I just noticed I see what you did manage to... I think he got taken down, but I'm not sure who. I must have missed that. Buys behind 
uh, for the blue team though. Scully, uh, he gets spotted by the pyro, he's down. It looks like um, Fair Enough didn't get much done with that Uber though. The demo's coming down, but that was pretty Very dumb. Very aggressive, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think that demo was two chips short of a fish supper, but I think, um, yeah, granted Bob's is trying to do some work, but I think the uh, Pyro Yukari is uh, really starting to focus on Granger Bob. He realizes he's a big threat. Rui takes down both Durr and Sliver and Flander. Rui just on fire. I see what you did, 90% though. It's equal, equal Ubers pretty much. I think uh, there's still no sentry up though from what I can see for uh, the for fair enough at the moment. I'm just wondering if they've uh, moved it back a bit. Yeah, so uh, Party Van have control of the hill, but MDNZ just got a pick on the medic with the caber. <laughs> the oh, wow. was watching. <laughs> uh, that was really good play by him, but that was kind of shocking by Party Van that they weren't paying attention to the, their medic at all. I think they're really starting to feel the pressure now. They know that there's pretty much no chance of them being able to cap this unless they be super aggressive, but fair enough with this counter Rupert. There's only 45 seconds to go left. I think Party Van can smell defeat at the moment. I think they're just basically messing around. That looks to be the case. Max taking down Rui, so taking out one of the bigger threats. On this, on fair enough, absolutely. That was a very nice find floods to uh, recruit that chap. Yeah, I think fair enough. Know that they have this in the bag, so. They're not playing too defensively, they're just trying to spam him out and not let him come in anymore. Only 14 seconds to go. I think Party Van are basically giving up here. So, fair enough, yeah. Very dominant. And that's a good game, so congratulations to Fair Enough. They've uh, proceeded in the upper bracket. Uh, for slight party van, uh, it's a double elimination, I believe it works in uh, UGC playoffs. So, party van have to play on Thursday, and if they lose that, then they're basically out of the playoffs, and that's their season over. So, I think it's quite a good system, actually. So, very well played to fair enough, and thanks very much to uh, John for streaming this. Thanks very much to Tash for joining me on her debut. Thank you. And make sure you subscribe to us on Twitch. Uh, just click that follow button, please. And join our Steam group, uh, the Blackfoot Gaming Public group. And hopefully, uh, if you have any suggestions for any upcoming casts, or you feel that you could do a decent job as a caster or a streamer, or you just feel like wanting the experience of doing it, then feel free to um, apply and we'd be more than happy to uh, get you a game set up to, to cast. Um. So this has been Blackout TV streaming the UGC Platinum Upper Bracket Playoff between Fair Enough and Party Van and hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Peace!